All right, we got the other Joe on the line. Joe, what's going on, man? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and straight up hookies. <laughs> Dude, today, all right, folks, today we are talking about, I, I learned a new word last week, Joe. Let's hear it. Rompers. Well, well I've got a four-year-old girl, so I know what they are. Okay, see, I've never heard that. That's fine. If you're over 18 months old or whatever, I mean, or four, whatever, if Okay, I'm get. I'm almost getting too excited here. I never knew what a romper. I've seen women wear them. I just didn't know what it was. But now apparently, men are wearing rompers. Joe, they're trying. They're trying to do this. Dude, and I, I just. I mean, for like, convenience, but they're crossing the line. Dude, my whole life is based on not my whole life, but a lot of my a lot of things I do is based on like being a smart ass, having something funny to say. It's not funny. You know, I mean, no. this shit. This shit's not funny at all. Well, you know, men have had rompers for probably over a hundred years. They're called coveralls. Coveralls. That's what I was. I was like. I was like. They're like coveralls. Only you know they got the the, you know the legs I mean? cut off. Go ahead and cut the sleeves off your coveralls. Just get redneck with it. But don't you dare stand a set of rompers, man. Oh man, it's one of the worst <laughs> things I've seen. Well, anyway, uh. Dude, I don't care if you're a 87th degree black belt in 15 different martial arts. You're not tough enough to wear a romper. It's, if it's you're a dude. You know, and I hear this. Uh, there's actually two women arguing like online on this stuff, and uh, they're like, "Man, guys, don't wear this." And you know how people people there. You know how some people are just out there just to be offended and start shit and start drama. They're like, people in society, if men want to wear that, they can wear that. It's like you know what. Technically, you're right, but just fuck off. You know what I mean? We're tired yeah, of your shit. It's like, man, right. yes, you technically you know, can wear whatever the hell you want, but it don't make it right. It's bullshit, well, how man. Come, how come their little technicality is okay, but my technicality of I get to make fun of your ass no matter what, and you got to deal with it right. because it's America. That's not that acceptable. Dude, they can find a I mean, you can find a technicality to prove your perspective. I mean, if you're willing to be an asshole enough, you know what I mean. I mean, if you're willing to dig deep enough, you can find some shred of the pro the, uh, the problem is th there's a bigger problem here. But this just gives me a reason to do a show on it. Dude, men are turning into sissies, man. I mean, well, like, and I'm talking about like you're... straight men. You know, I mean, I mean, like like gay guys dress nice. I mean, and that's that's okay. I'm talking about straight men looking pretty it's just it's an I, epidemic now and i don't understand how the hell it happened i don't know why it's happening well i'm not a vain man let me tell you what happened yesterday i shaved my head with a number three maybe once every two weeks because i paid twenty dollars for someone to cut my hair and i thought well i could screw this up myself for free so i just started cutting with a number three well, yesterday I came out and zipped a pretty good chunk off and realized the number three thing wasn't on there. So I am a little bit vain. I did freak out really bad. But cut your hair. I went down. I went down to the barber and uh, you know I got it fixed. I figured I needed a profession. It was pretty funny because the lady was like, "Okay, what's your phone number?" I said, that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> I just need a Why haircut. the hell do you want my phone number? I don't want to give you my phone number. I don't need you to call me. Still, I need you to cut well, my damn hair. What the hell, man? Said, well, can I have your name? I said, well, my name is Joe. And she goes, it's going to be about 50 minutes. I said, look at me. Where the hell am I going to go? I'll be here. <laughs> you know, and then this other lady sitting there started laughing. And I looked at her and I said, I said, ma'am, I'm usually more friendly than personal, but as you can see, I'm kind of got an issue. And she looked at the barber lady who wanted my phone numbers for no reason and was like, let him go in front of me. I said, <laughs> just no. No. <laughs> ma'am, if Peter gives you any crap about something bad you did, you be sure to bring this up because it counts for something, I promise. <laughs> Well, dude, that's not yeah, vain. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that's not vain. I mean, you know, looking looking decent and presentable. Well, I'm talking I'm about. And that's how I consider myself to be a man's man. I do. When people want to show me their I seven or their 
fancy telephone. My response is always, dude, I'm more of a Chevy guy. You know, get away from me. <laughs> and but I, I guess that's as far as I can get to being a metrosexual is, you know, if I have half my head checked, I'll freak out. Oh, well, yeah, half your head, yeah. But yeah, I, I Joe, you're not anywhere in the realm of what we're getting at, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the thing, man. If these people should be embarrassed. That's the problem. They yeah. should be thinking, man, somebody gonna whoop my ass for looking like a sissy. That's there's nothing wrong with that. That's my it, right. It's just to, the, the it's the society as a whole. It's just how in the hell is this happening? You know what? I'll tell you. We're not just talking about Robert. Like, uh, uh, man, unless you're a professional, a, a swimmer or whatever, where there is a purpose to shave your body, don't. I mean, I mean, I don't, I just, like, men should not shave your fucking arm hair and just, I don't know, some girls might be into that, but fuck, man, I mean, it's like, dude, the only thing I'd shave, maybe my back, I could probably understand that if I had I hair on my back. I don't bit. have hair on my back, I don't think I, don't I really got look, hair on my back. I'm just yeah, saying. Buddy. But uh, but you know what? You know who's at fault here? I'm going to tell you who's at fault here, really. Guys guys should be blamed more, but let me tell you who can stop this and doesn't. Women. Women can stop all this nonsense, man. You want to know what? I mean, you want to know how? The skinny jeans. People with ma man buns, Joe. I mean, those are right uh, up there. With what, but hang on. But let, me right. finish, let me finish we're, my little speech here. Hang on. All the on. The, that's we're what I'm saying. Hang on. Let me, let me finish my little speech. Not trying to interrupt you. I'm just... But like all these skinny jeans, these colored pretty shoes, manscaping, I think is what it's called. Where you shave your... Whatever. I don't even want to talk about it. Even, this man bun. Uh, what, are, what are we talking about? Rompers. All this stuff. If they, I mean, if you would quit sleeping with douchebags that do this, they'd quit wearing it probably within a month, definitely a year. I mean, seriously, dude, well, I mean, it's I like if you sleep. keep, if you keep, if you keep <laughs> sleeping with these douchebags that do this, man, why would they stop? I mean, they're being successful and so, oh man, I just, women well, I have more power digress. than they think, man. It's fucking crazy. I digress, but you got to tend to the man bush a little bit. The what? You know, the man bush. It's, you can't let that get too crazy. But that's just <laughs> well, well, let's not go there. I'm just, yeah, I'm just I saying agree. in general. I know I'm, I'm making, I'm making a general across the board statement. Men are becoming sissies. It's like, well, dude. Yeah. I mean, if a guy's at a club and he's got a man bun and skinny oh. jeans. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. These, uh, this beard, this, this giant beard stuff on these preppy ass like hipsters. You know what I mean? These big ass oh, yeah. hillbilly beard. I mean. <laughs> It's like, Dude. man, it, it's crazy. I thought I thought it was exact. Oh, go ahead. Listen, the handlebar mustache. You know the hipster handlebar mustache? Yeah. This dude came and applied for a job as a material handler. And I said, uh, did you ride here on one of the bicycles with a giant truck tire? I was looking at me, I was just, I don't know, man, you want to. You go for some bare fisted boxing out back, or I mean, <laughs> just, just threw me off. You step out of 1900 or what, man? Yeah, I talked to the plant manager. I said, what did you say to that guy? He goes, Oh, I had one dude with a hand mustache like that once. I'll never hire another one. It's just, <laughs> I got a bad experience with handlebar he, mustache. He basically said, I've yet to meet anyone with a handlebar mustache that wasn't either a weirdo or a douchebag or both. And when I think about it, I've met a few of these people, and they're weirdos at least. All of them. The, yeah, I'm not going to hire one of the people. <laughs> if you don't care what other people think when they look at you, you're probably not going to be a very good employee. <laughs> probably not. But anyway, back to these, uh, back to these like hillbilly beard man. They got these big, and they're, they're like big badass manly beards, but they're not on manly people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's real fucking obvious immediately. Oh, yeah. You know what well, I mean? Those skinny jeans and their big oh beard. man, and... uh, yeah. I mean, and their man buns and these big ass beards, dude. Beards are cool. I don't. I personally don't do uh, the but beard it's thing. But I mean, yeah, beards are cool. But, it's like you uh, got a big beard because you're trying to compensate. That's exactly so it, man. Like, uh, personally, we both know, we won't say last names, uh, Leslie. She likes, like, dudes with beards and stuff. And she put some type of post, this is about a year or two ago, and it was so funny. She's like, guys, y'all are ruining my beard fetish. I like big-ass beards. 
It's like, but if you can't change a tire, shave your fucking face. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, that sums it up perfect right there, man. It's like, man, yeah. it's like you can look at somebody and tell, oh, man, I'm so tired of this. Oh, and these oh, lectures, I've seen some video like uh, uh, on a uh, somewhere uh, down, down at the gym. They always got these videos playing, these this shit music. But anyway, like these people were <laughs> trying to be uh, like, like, like smooth, like I don't know, gangsters the term, but anyway, kind of something like with smooth players or something like that, and they're acting all cool, smoking their electronic cigarette like they're badass. Oh, it's wow. like, dude, you fuck, you look like a fucking tool, man. It's dude, like, put, go behind it's the like, building and do that in secret. Let me say this. Let me say this. If you the, here's the problem, I have no problem if somebody wants to vape. It's probably economic. It's probably mm -hmm. might be safer if you're trying to quit. Whatever, but. I have yet to meet somebody, maybe one out of 20 people do it for a genuine reason. Everyone else does it to be cool. You know what I mean? Like they, they intentionally do it like in public because they're supposed to be able to get away with it. They blow that shit all over the place. They want people to see that they're vaping or have the fucking electronic cigarette. Fuck Listen, that shit, this man. vape thing I know about. Listen, what it does is it progressively increases your nicotine intake that, that joe i don't even... there's nothing in the universe <laughs> that will give you enough nicotine besides one of these freaking turbo jet for nine thousand yeah, volt that's not it but the, yeah but that's not even where i'm going with that i'm just saying they're doing it it's like hipster shit it's douchebag shit it's guys being fucking sissy shit man and i'm just tired of it the just people oh man rompers joe rompers yeah. that's i mean it if looks like it looks like the girl green, it looks like the girlfriend's auto do what if you're wearing stonewash skinny jean skinny jeans from like man. the old school 80s style and you listen to butt rock you know respect but dude that man. brings up another point man we need to i mean we need to do something drastic man i'm telling you what i'm gonna do uh right. We need to bring back like 1987. Girls probably won't like it all that much, but I'm talking about like nothing. I, you know what? Fuck this. I'm telling you right now today, ladies, you brought this on yourself. Nothing but brute aftershave, man. Fuck it. <laughs> nothing but brute aftershave. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use beech nut for deodorant. Fuck it, man. It's time. <laughs> beech nut or red man, man. Fuck it, man. Dude, like, I'm just tired of this shit. It's bank. like, girl, really, though, man, men are more at fault for doing it at all for any reason. But, man, it's like, dude, if y'all are out where at the bar or club or whatever and you see some fucking douchebag and skin, how do you go over and, like, try to pick that guy up or go home with him? He's got fucking skinny jeans on. I just, I don't, I know less about women than anyone in the world, but I don't, I just don't fucking get that. I'm well, so tired. I mean, of if she's a chick that wants a dude that'll provide and protect, and take care of her and we'll tend to the vehicles and the garbage and the lawn <laughs> like a real chick. She's not going to go for that. You know, oh, a real no. chick, you know, I've said this before. I love my wife so much because she knows that woman's power lies in being a woman. Nobody, no man on earth will ever be as good at being a woman than a woman. And she's proof of that. And I love it. And no chick is going to be as good at being a man than a man. That's how God made it. Deal with it. Be a woman if you're a woman. Be a man if you're a man. If you're Bruce Jenner, shoot yourself in the face. <laughs> End of the story. Dude, I asked Pipkin because I, I refuse to believe this is okay in any area. Dude, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a smart ass or funny. I was like, Within the gay community, would guys get made fun of for wearing rompers? He's like, they're ridiculous. I just saw I got a message from him. the other guy, Aaron, that I work with. He's like, they're. He just started laughing. He's like, this is ridiculous. When he's seen a picture of them, it's just fucking is this terrible. Huh? The football Pipkin played football. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. right. But uh, he's not defined by the way he likes to have sex. I'm assuming. He's just no, that's not the point. I'm just talking gay. about rompers and shit, man. Yeah, I'm talking about within the I gay know. community. I'm saying, see, that was my deal. I was like, man, surely that'd be made. Surely that wouldn't be okay in any area, regardless of your race, 
sexual preference, anything. Rompers have to be a shitty idea for guys to wear under any no, and all circumstances. I'm is, certain that I'm right. It's, listen, you know who's if I see a guy wearing a romper, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to point out and say, you're stupid. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I, 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 and I'm going to make fun of them. And everybody there is going to laugh at them. <laughs> and if the rest of the world isn't doing this, then it's their fault, too. You know, it's not just kids. We're, it's our job to establish social norms <laughs> and enforce them by making fun of people. It's simple as that. It's work for eons. I'm t I mean, I, all these leftists are trying to keep us from making fun of people. No, no, you make fun of people for a reason. As a deterrent. As a deterrent, yeah. Yes, make them feel bad when they're Dude, I'm bad. telling you, I, I've already got it in my head now. I'm 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 starting to chew beech nut and red man every day. I hadn't I hadn't chewed since I was about 20 years old. It's time I'm about to start chewing. I mean, it, I'm here wearing brood aftershave. It's time to bring it back. I don't give a shit anymore. We got to do yeah, something, man. I smoke man. cigars. And turn wrenches and work with iron. I mean, I, I love cigars. And if you don't, I don't know, I can't imagine somebody picking a vape over the least. The blessed tobacco leaves. <laughs> How could you oh, turn your back on it? It's, I mean, there's so many very, you want to quit smoking? Do something else, but don't turn your back on the back. Well, if you're going to quit, quit. Be nothing. I've just got this image in my head, my yeah. I mean, it's all I, I just all or nothing. I've got this image in my head, of like uh, somebody driving down the road in a in a romper, a man bun, smoking some type of electronic cigarette. Type of person got their <laughs> got their uh, got their they got their hazards on during the rain. You know what I mean? When it's raining, turn on their <laughs> turn on their hazard lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck people. around! It's really not funny, man. But I mean, oh, it kind of. I mean, it's uh, funny because all the, you got to make fun of. And if people aren't making fun of them, then they deserve the worst. They're the kind of men that probably around. eat brunch. You know what I mean? Like, well, like brunch actually eat brunch. When I sleep here, yeah, I but we don't call it brunch. brunch. We just eat. You know what I mean? You know, just, I, oh, fuck around! I'm tired of it, dude. Anyway. Well, yeah, I know vegans. Dude, I I've got a lot of to, vegan uh, friends. I can't say anything, man. You know, I, right, I, real quick, I was listening oh, no. to my show, Davis Nation, and he said in his town, he lives in San Francisco, a lady was, her child got ripped out of her arms, and this crazy homeless person attempted to kidnap this child. Guess who witnessed everything and gave a complete report to the police? The guy who ran the vegan bakery right where it happened. <laughs> you know who came up and put an end to it and snatched this child out of the arms of this crazy delusional homeless person? <laughs> the two people that ran the butcher store across the street. Okay? That's why people eat meat. That's this fucking real, America y right this there. That's real. America right there, man. I'm That's you, That is what this country is based on. I'm sorry. I don't care who I offend on that one. Hey, that's the best. How have I not heard that story? That pisses well, me off. I mean, saying, it's wonderful. I mean, it pisses me off. I hadn't heard that story. That is the greatest. The great. That makes my well, whole hey, month. You, you, everybody knows it in their heart. But that's the way it is. But I mean, if you're a vegan, you're like you better be a pacifist because you're not doing it for health. You need amino acids. You need it. It's in meat. If you have a child and you're raising that child on a vegan diet, your ass ought to be thrown in jail. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> it's true. Jim I know, man. It. I've got you vegan friends. I can't say too much, man. <laughs> you do, boys. too. You just don't know. You'd be talking shit to them. I know, though. No, absolutely. <laughs> they probably are big supporters of the Mel Roper, and they probably drive a Chris. And Dude. The, you know? Dude, I vegan. wouldn't shut, man. This, this is... I would not, dude, I wouldn't wear a romper. I would not shave my arms or chin. If every woman in the world got together and signed a contract that said I'd get laid at least twice a day every day, there's no fucking way I would shave my fucking arms or chest or anything like that. There's no way, man. That's fucking crazy. That'd be so much work. You know, I'm a hairy man. 
can take a lot of work. It'd be so I can weave 12 shit, Indian blankets up there from my chest and belly. Dude, I seen I seen this guy. Man, I really haven't seen in person too many man buns. I seen some guy at the gym a week or, about a week or two ago, man. Joe, it wasn't, but this is what, the man bun itself is horrible. But what bothered me was the specific, well, this guy, hey, on, Joe, warrior. this guy had his head like cut. A, a normal kind of short length all all around except on the top it was longer but joe joe it was maybe he had it in a little ponytail thing in the back that m maybe maybe was about an inch long you know what i mean it's like how fucking bad do you want it that you would try you know what i mean to put to put that shit you got like a one inch thing i mean pulling it back it's like you want a man bun that fucking bad that you try oh Look, joe i just can't I'm gonna stand say it this. I can't you have a license it. to have a man bun if you practice samurai swordsmanship that's what I, and you're just a hardcore japanese historian or something joe outside of that about no. that's funny you said that because about a year ago or whenever this oh, i first heard the term man bun I was like, that's the first thought I had. Oh, like a samurai. I was like, that's kind of cool, actually. Then I saw what it was. There's a bunch of, like, preppy-ass hipsters and shit like that, you know? Oh, man. You know, I thought it was, I thought this was, like, exaggerated. I went out, oh, buddy, I don't know, six months to a year ago. I went to visit somebody over in Duncan and went out to, I don't even know what it's called now. But, dude, I bet, I'm, I'm, I'm giving an honest statistic. I bet one out of about seven guys really did have like the big ass hillbilly beard and like like a man bun or real nice hair i mean the people that didn't have any fucking business having a beard i don't know exactly the word for it but you know it's just it's just it this is a real problem man did you make i don't fun? know what to do except brute and beech nut dude did that's the only problem? That's what you gotta do. You gotta make fun, <laughs> dude. It just I'll makes me it. sad, man. It's like I don't know what to do. It's 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 a it's like a it's like an ocean, man. Yeah, I think you're right, though. I mean, we need to get that. We need to call them out. That's part of what this show is about, right here. Well, that's a big part of it. But I mean, these are men who have been emasculated their whole lives mm -hmm. by their televisions and by progressive agendas. They they've been told that being a man and fighting and being masculine is a Weakness and caveman esque. I'm going basically to... are against everything I embrace. It's exactly. Yeah. It's like a show we did a while back. I blame everything, and it's like, man, there's no Chuck Norris movies anymore. And I'm not even being a smart ass, man. It's shit like that, though, man. Like you know, man shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, damn it. Yeah. It's like everybody thinks these these shitty ass souped up like subarus and shit are badass instead of real hot rods and stuff on these racing sh i don't know i can't even get into that i can't even get into that right now joe i got one more thing man we got to oh no dude i had a friend this is completely off subject i got a buddy this is gonna be our next show something along these lines i had two a guy i work with got stopped by the police for walking on the wrong side of the road on the road. Walk in the end of traffic? It doesn't matter, dude. It's, I, I don't care. Well, I need to know in case I'm okay, I Okay, I mean, I mean, I think you had to walk in toward traffic, yeah. but it's I don't give a shit. shit. I don't care if it's a law or not. Man, it's America. I pay taxes on the whole road. I'll walk on the inside. Anyway, that's a whole other show because I've been no, I've been doing nothing <laughs> but fucking thinking about that shit. That cop like that changed the world. <laughs> no, man, I hate to get I hate to go off on it because this is a whole other show, but it's like, man, I don't want I'm happy to pay the police to do a job. I live in Lawton. I like seeing cops drive around now. There's a time in my life I didn't, but now I do. But here's here's the point I'm trying to make. I don't want one cent of my tax dollars spent on any amount of time to stop somebody and and give them a ticket for walking on the wrong side of the road <laughs> hell no this is america if that's a law fuck it change it or just ignore it i don't care man anyway sorry yeah. this is about this is about story. this is the ant this is the uh the trying to save men show or i don't even know how to phrase it i'll think of a title well later. if you listen to music and there's no real instrument in the music <laughs> then you're part of the problem. <laughs> That's a good way to end the show. That's a good yeah. way. You got like five synthesizers and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's lead singer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Watch some auto racing. Yeah, do some hard work. Turn a wrench. Purify the skip, soul. Skip brunch. Shave. 
fuck around, yeah. man. You earn the right to have a beer. Either that, or, I mean, you know, Amish or something. <laughs> Can't just be something. Dude, Amish before. might be the most manly people in the world, really, man. When it comes down to it. <laughs> they make some damn fine food. I know that. They're food and furniture. All right, man, yeah, we got to cut it. <laughs> tax free. <laughs> That's tax what our free. That was one of our first shows, wasn't it? Tax, <laughs> how the homeless were tax free. All right, man. I know we had to put this show together quick. Appreciate, appreciate you getting with me. Man, so you're moving back, though, in about a week or so. Yes. Man, yes. we'll have to try to get together and do a live show together Absolutely. one of these times. If you're vegan, I'm sorry your life's hard enough without me making fun of you. Dude, if you can't you change your tire, and if you can't change a tire, shave your fucking face. And I'm warning anybody. Yeah. I'm warning anybody just, around me. You better get, dude. I, I'm about to wear enough brute to just completely destroy. If a romper gets within about a hundred feet of the amount of brute I'm going to be wearing, it'll deteriorate and fall off probably. Dude, I'm it's talking really about, dude, I'm, all I'm, all I'm about to go buy some beech nut and red man and start chewing. I don't give a shit anymore. No. I'm, 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 I'm about Day to buy, an, I'm about to buy an Day 88, I'm about to buy an 88 IROC Camaro, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> dude, it's time to bring it back. <laughs> all right, brother. I love you, Joe. <laughs> I love you, brother. And we'll, we'll talk to you soon, man. I love you too. All right, Stay man. Manly. All right. <laughs> Will do. All right. Bye.